So today we're going to be diving into five Skillshare classes that are helpful for productivity. I wanted to share ones that I found helpful and I'll include a full list of them in the link in the description. So if you're new here, welcome. My name's Francesco and welcome to Keep Productive. Today we're very lucky to be sponsored by ClickUp. ClickUp is a powerful way to manage your projects and it's also fast and flexible. And they've got a new version coming out very soon. So you can check it out in the link in the description as well as our brand new channel, Keep Productive with ClickUp if you fancy it. So let's dive into some of these Skillshare classes for productivity. And some of these are a little bit different because you wouldn't initially connect the dots with them being directly productivity, but they can help in all aspects of your life around your sort of working life that I think could be pretty helpful. The first one is interior design, creating a plan for your perfect room. And I took this course little bit before actually getting an office in the garden. Obviously not everyone can have an office in the garden. Then you might be working in your front room. You might be working upstairs in a spare bedroom or you might be working at the dining room table. But one of the things that I found and probably should have taken this well earlier is that this class was particularly good at helping you to plan what your workspace looks like and what a good environment for an airy, more sort of relaxed, goal-based productivity should look like. And that means taking advantage of natural light coming in through the windows and finding um, cheaper, but also good plants that can be more brightening for the room as well, but also using a mood board to take advantage of other people's ideas and how they've planned their workspaces. So this class is run by Arlene Hernandez, who is already a writer in the space, and it's a really well-structured course. Next up is one on self-reflection. I took this class a few months ago, and I found it pretty good, um, not only for um, the career side of stuff, but also sort of a bit of self-discovery in an alternative career path. It's a brand fantastic course that covers about her journey, Stephanie Neme, if you wanna get that wrong, um, about how she took the sort of different path in where she is, but also what she traditionally does. And um, what was nice is she talked about how um, she reflected on that journey during that period of time and some of the challenges that she faced during the alternative career path. So this one's a really helpful one if you're someone that is in the middle of a career change or developing that and they're looking to look inwards on themselves about how they're going with it or even potentially thinking about doing it in the future. Next up is probably one that many have started to embrace a bit more and it's about remote work. And this is run by Kevin Siskar and it's all about remote teams and how to really take advantage of not just bringing your team together when they're both hybrid and remote, but also utilizing tools, workspaces around you, and really just embracing remote work whilst at home. This one's a fantastic one, and I'd recommend checking it out because it's it really covers everything you need to know, especially if you're fairly new to the whole remote world. Next up is one that I took a while ago, maybe three or four years ago on personal branding. It's run by Kat Arans who runs Wit and Delight, and her branding and the way she represents herself online is absolutely fantastic. So if you're somebody that's looking to formalize or declutter and reform the way that they present themselves online in terms of a portfolio, or what they believe to, well, what they want to express in their values and things like that, this is a really effective course for that. And I love the sort of worksheets that she does as well, that helps you sort of take yourself out of your comfort zone and, and bring together some ideas that you might be thinking about. And finally, probably the most productivity one of these is one called Time Theming by Mike Vardy. This is a collaboration with Todoist, but it's an absolutely fantastic one if you're looking to structure your days a little bit more effectively, and if you're looking at a sort of calendar blocking more recently concepts, I'd recommend checking this one out because what it does is it takes that step a lot further in terms of task batching, and especially with remote people these days, trying to embed task batching is something that is becoming a bit more openly accepted in the workspace because we know that we need to be a bit more focused on our deep work periods of time instead of all the time in meetings with remote teams. So this one is particularly interesting for that if you're looking for something to persuade your boss 
at improving how you spend your time at home for sure. Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Let me know whether you found any of these helpful or have tried one before in the comments below. A big thanks to ClickUp for sponsoring today's feature and I look forward to diving into more videos here on Keep Productive with you. Please do make sure to check out Keep Productive with ClickUp also. Thank you folks and I'll see you very soon.